Hello my beautiful friends of the internet and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a get ready with me. It's actually been a while. Oh my god, look at my nails. We'll take care of those later. So today we are getting ready to go on a little date with Cody and I need to do my makeup. I already did my skincare. Look at how amazing. Okay, one, like don't pay attention to this because I think I got bit by a bug in my sleep. I know that sounds crazy, but anytime there is like a gnat, a mosquito, or any kind of bug in the house, they attack me. Cody and I even took 23andMe like tests for our DNA or whatever, and it came back saying that my DNA is more likely I don't know how to construct that sentence. Something about me draws in bugs. I'm more likely to be eaten up by bugs and that is totally true because like I literally can't step outside without wasps, bees, mosquitoes, anything, flies just like whoosh, and try to eat me up. But so other than this little mark here which I think is a bug bite, uh, my skin's actually looking really good you know I do have some redness and this is like my rosacea which I have been fighting but acne wise like I don't have anything and that's like weird maybe in a future video I'll tell you all my skincare routine that I have been doing because I've been trying out all kinds of new stuff and one of the items we are going to be trying today is well I say trying but I actually tried it yesterday I got too excited and I tried it yesterday without you. I'm sorry, but it is this Dr. Jarts Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment. This is she. And I seen a TikTok where this girl was saying that if you have rosacea or trouble with a lot of redness to use this. And I used it yesterday and boy, oh boy, one, I used too much because, well, I don't know why, but I, I'm just stupid, but I feel as though she actually works. Like I'm just gonna take, this is actually probably too much still again, but that's okay. So all you do is take it. She came with a little cute spatula, but I just don't, I never use her. But all you do is put it on and then it said to just like swirl it in circles until it turns beige and it covers up your redness. I will say she's like almost a little pale even when she turns into this beige color look at that that took away literally majority of my redness i mean i do look a little ghostly but that's okay i have been getting like little things to try from cvs because that's like my makeup store i don't have a sephora near me i have to travel a little way so uh usually i go to cvs and get my makeup and i've been buying a lot of elf products and also a lot of the creme shop i think is that creme shop or cream shop i'm not sure don't yell at me i think it's creme <laughs> I've been buying a lot of those products because I just think they're so 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 cute and a lot of things that I've tried this far is really nice and also smells delicious so I think I don't know if for a date night I want to wear my makeup by Mario or this new CC cream that I got from the creme shop I've been using her and like she does look really pretty she's full coverage age defense moisturizing and SPF 30 I think I'm gonna do makeup by Mario because it's like a date night. I think the CC cream is kind of like a little more of an everyday. We're going out to eat to dinner with Cody to a nice restaurant. So I think it's time to break out some nice foundation. I went back to using a beauty blender. I was using the Makeup by Mario foundation brush and I don't know, like sometimes I would put it on and like it would almost get kind of streaky looking. So I, don't, I just think maybe the beauty blender is the right choice for me. Next up, I'm just taking this Revlon concealer stick thing um, in the color light. This is not new. I've had it for quite a while, but uh, I haven't been wearing a ton of concealer lately. Like I've just been doing a little bit right here where it's a little blue, you know, and then we'll just blend that out. Gorgeous. Actually, I may put a little concealer on this little red spot because she seems to be poking through. Well, actually, we'll like let that dry and then blend it out. Oh my gosh, am I a makeup artist? No. For our blush, I haven't been using a lot of contour lately. Like I've been trying to go for more of that just like I, it looks like I naturally have gorgeous skin kind of look and not going super crazy on contour um, or blush really. But today, since we're like going out, I want to try this blush that I got by the Creme Shop. Look at how cute it is. Oh my God. So this is the Peach Fluff color and it's like blush and also lipstick. I just use it because I put it on my lips the other day and like it didn't look it didn't look that great we're just gonna use it as our blush today should I like wait for that to dry a little bit before I I think it'll be all right it's like heat it up with my face yeah there we go 
I've been liking this uh, blush placement like right here and I also even kind of take it under my eye because I feel like it kind of color corrects my eye bags because my eye bags are like kind of blue and then this kind of cancels it out, you know, color correction kind of thing. I have no idea what I'm talking about. I just do stuff and then it works out, I guess. I don't know. I know I look really crazy right now, but we'll blend this out. Okay, I think you, I feel like you have to trust the process with the blush, okay? I know it looks like a little crazy around my eyes here, but I think it'll look better. Now that all of our cream stuff is on, we're going to set it with our e.l.f. Dewy Coconut Setting Spray, long lasting. Does this stuff really work? I don't really know, but it feels really nice and smells It's time for some powder. Okay, so first up, I'm just going to take my Revlon translucent powder and I'm gonna put that like under my eyes and like kind of my T-zone area, I guess, just to kind of keep that bright. Now for the rest, we'll do Revlon Color Stay Powder, but this time in color light medium. And we'll kind of just take that around where we didn't place the translucent you know what i'm saying gorgeous oh my god see now like the blush is starting to look a little there's always big loud trucks that just want to like be as loud as possible to show that they got like a big pee pee eyebrow time i use this l'oreal brow stylus definer this is what she looks like i like these because one they come with a brush and two this part is like very thin and i like making almost hair like strokes in my eyebrows this is in the color brunette i'll brush through the eyebrows i've been kind of struggling with my eyebrows especially this left one right here i don't know what it is but she just doesn't want to do anything i tell her to and like she just doesn't look good in my opinion i don't know if it's because i sleep on this side more maybe and like i'm up my eyebrow in my sleep but it's really annoying i would like for it to stop and i'm just gonna lightly fill in where i feel it is needed Ugh, i don't know they, my eyebrows never match it's so annoying eyeshadow time i'm using nyx professional makeup ultimate shadow palette this is what she looks like i like just using a lot of neutral tones i don't know why but every time i try to do like something really cool and fun like even doing pink or like blue, green, yellow, or like any kind of colors that are fun. I always feel like I look like a clown at the end of it. I don't know. Cause I'll literally see the same exact look on like somebody else and be like, oh my gosh, that is so stunning. It's so pretty, it's so fun. And then I try it and I'm like, okay. Oh yeah, I guess I should say what I'm doing, but I'm taking this color right here she's kind of like a very pale uh well honestly she's, pro she's probably like my nude color just to kind of start on the lid everywhere oh that's kind of peachy i think i may i've never tried this color before but this color right here she looks kind of peachy so i think i may no you know what actually i'm gonna do this color in my crease she's kind of like a a dusty rose sort of i'm gonna do that in my crease because that's usually what i do and then we'll like kind of top it off with that orangey one so we can kind of create this peachy look because we have our peachy blush on and i started this in my crease and i'm just gonna kind of work my way up a little bit and out oh god i hate my eyebrows anyway time for this orangey color i've literally never used her in my life so i'm kind of scared oh okay she's not bad i'm gonna do the outer corner and then kind of pull it up into the crease a little Okay, I ended up doing it like right here too, and then here, and then some in the crease. Kind of trying to leave this space open for glitter. I think for the finale, <laughs> I'm going to take this brown color right here. She's kind of like a, I don't know, she's just a light brown. And we're going to take her and place her like on top. Just focus it a little on the outer corner. Just kind of deepen that up and then sweep across the crease some you know i may even drag it down and put it around on this lower lash there you go that looks that looks nice okay now what i'm gonna do is take this color it's almost like a gold i guess gold coppery shimmer and i'm just gonna take a little bit of that on my finger and pop that right in the center where we kind of left some space okay and then we're gonna take this pink shimmery color 
like super, she's super glittery. And we're gonna put that right on top. Okay, so I've been using e.l.f. H2O proof eyeliner pen. Um, this is what she looks like. I really like her a lot because she has a very sharp tip and it's also kind of, it's like a stiff tip. So I feel like I have more control over where it goes because sometimes when I get pens, they'll be sharp, but it's almost like a flimsy tip. And I only imagine it's that way because they want you to be like, flick you know but that never works for me i feel like i need control um which even with this you can flick out if you really want to but um i just like that it has like a stiffer tip <laughs> mm. okay a bunch of liner just went into my eye this liner is like leaking everywhere i was just saying how much i really like it and now it's like pissing me off oh my f i'm going to scream one eternity later. Okay, that literally took me 10 minutes and I'm not happy with it because look at like, it kept doing this stuff up here. I don't know why. It's like super liquidy, like it's like leaking almost. So that was extremely annoying and now it looks a little weird. But I think what I'm gonna do is just put like a dark brown eyeshadow on it to just kind of, I don't know, make it look a little smoky and like cover up some of my mistakes because Right now, she doesn't look that great. So I'm gonna take this like deepest brown out of this. It's almost like an espresso color. And I'm gonna put that over everything I just did and just kind of blend it and smoke it and just look like it was meant to be that way. Okay, I think that made it look a little bit better. I don't know, but I'm still not like super happy with it. Anyway, next up is lashes. So lately I haven't been wearing falsies. I have been curling my lashes and actually wearing mascara, which is very strange. So I don't know if I wanna do that now or not because part of me kind of feels like maybe big lashes would cover up my mess more. We'll just do our real lashes and see how it goes. So we're gonna curl them. They kind of already look a little cute. And then I'm gonna take the Creme Shop mascara that I got, I don't know what kind of mascara it is. It literally just says the crumb shop, but um, I, it looks like this, Hello Kitty. Isn't it so cute? And I got it in black, so we're gonna wear that. It is time for some lip stuff. And what I've been doing lately is I got the crumb shop lip stain. Look how cute she is in the little heart. This color is called Cherub, I think. I don't know what that is, but. Um, it smells so good. Mm. Uh, it smells delicious, but I have been it's a lip stain So I've been putting this color on my lips and then I try to take off as much as I can I know it sounds crazy, but I just like it to look a little more faded. Oh my gosh See that's such like a pretty color and now I need to put on a lip gloss. I'm not sure which one to do I think to maybe give it more of the peachiness. I'm going to do my Too Faced lip injection extreme um, this is what she looks like. Super cute. I love the little teddy bears on it. This is the kind that like stings or kind of burns when you put it on, you know, and it like plumps up your lips over time. But I think that's all for the makeup. So we just need to set it. Okay, now that we got the makeup done, it's time to do hair. My hair's actually really not that bad. I just need to kind of go over it a little bit with my hair straightener just to smooth things out, especially my bangs and stuff. Just try to make it look a little cuter than this. <laughs> I really need to go back to the hairdresser to get my roots done and do another toner, obviously. But I really think this time I may say that I want to do like a rose gold looking toner or something, or I don't know. I don't want my hair to be pink again just yet. Maybe some other time. I want to be more like just have this rose gold tint to it. So I may try to make an appointment and do that soon. Okay. I think I did my hair. Okay. I don't really like it that much, but we're just gonna go with it. My problem I think is for some reason, I love like when I styled my hair, like the night before, if that makes sense. I like when it's marinated, you know what I mean? When it's freshly just brushed and straightened, I feel like it doesn't look as good in my head. I like when it starts to look a little worn in. <laughs> oh, also in between doing my makeup and my hair, I did my nails. They don't look the best because they're just like little press-ons, but you know, at least they look nice from afar for our date. <laughs> now the hard part is picking out an outfit because I had an outfit in mind, but then I found out that it's gonna be like 
low 50s tonight <laughs> so that seems kind of cold so that kind of threw a wrench in my plans and now I have no idea what I'm gonna wear. Cody said that he's just gonna wear black pants and a hoodie because it's gonna be cold so sounds like we're not getting super dressed up so I think what I'm gonna wear are these pants that I just got they're like kind of wide leg and so you'll you'll see them on you'll see them on and then maybe this little blouse and then we're gonna have to find a jacket and some shoes all right we have our outfit on look how cute she is I'm obsessed with it these are the shoes that I picked I just got these the other day they're Steve Madden big chunky tennis shoes okay and then for our jacket I'm gonna wear Cody's like little plaid trench coat and then here's Cody's fit we're yes. going the whole dark energy thing. Yeah. Whole goth, but also white in the middle. So I'm not all the way goth. <laughs> and now for a bag, I'm going to use my Chamberlain Coffee tote bag. Ta-da! Wrinkly. <laughs> I was like, she's a little wrinkly. I know. It's because I had to wash her, and then she came out this way. I don't know. <laughs> well, I should just get you a new one. I feel like... Well, I could probably, like, iron it, but it's okay. I'm going to wear this, you know? It's kind of like a blend of fancy and also casual with the tennis shoes and the tote bag. Whoa. <laughs> 